Hi, I'm John from BD Auto Body. Today we have new wheels for my Gen 5 Celica GT4. <gasps> Oof! They're not the wheels. Cutie music. This is episode two. Hey guys, uh, I'm John from BD Also Body. I am on my way to sunny Blackpool today. I love Blackpool. Yeah. Anyway. So excuse the voice and excuse the sunglasses because my five year old daughter has quite kindly given me her hideous head cold. I haven't stopped sneezing all morning. So, uh, regarding the wheels for the car, you know, I um, I own a body shop, I see a lot of cars come and go. The wheels of a car can make or break the look of a vehicle. Uh, I've decided backwards and forwards of which way I want to go with the wheels. I've decided on the size that we spoke about before. I am going for 18 inch. A lot of people have told me not to bother because, you know, I sacrifice a bit of performance. Uh, or they don't suit the car, that's the best one. 18s don't suit the car, well, I think they do. Uh, and I like the stance look, it's a, look, a really aggressive looking car. It's a unique looking car as well as Celica. So I'm not going to tell you which wheel I've gone for, but I'm going to tell you the, uh, the wheel size or whatever. So yeah, I've gone for the 18 inch, I've got eight and a half inch wide. Cyclist, get out, the, you're in the middle of the fucking road. Right, wheel size, I've gone for 18 inch, and it's eight and a half inch wide, right? And I don't really want to be running more than a 225 wide tire. Uh, the wheels actually, as they're used, come with a 225 40 18. They are worn and they are really budget tires, but it will bode well that for uh, the fitment. And then once I've got the right fitment and I'm happy with the wheel, then I'll get new tires or sell the wheels and buy new wheels they're not the colour I want but they are the size and the offset and the size and the uh, stud pattern obviously correct because obviously it's 5 by 100 which is quite unique for Jap uh, 35 inch offset front and rear obviously mine is a wide body so I've got 25 mil spaces on the back um, I'm going to sneeze I feel it coming <coughs> Bless me. Um, obviously, I am going to be lower in the car. <coughs> Jesus. Obviously, I am going to be lower in the car. Um, I'm not going to be dropping it stupid, but I absolutely love the look of the WRC cars. Well, I say WRC, before you all tell me that the Gen 5 wasn't a true WRC, it was a Group A car and all that, it was a World Rally car, so I'm going to be calling it WRC. Throughout the videos, I'll call it WRC. Uh, get over it, all you purists. I love the look of the World cars, WRC cars, in tarmac trim. That was what made me want to go for a five-spoke alloy. Especially with the Oz Chrono on it, the 16s, that's what they ran. Monte Carlo, Didier Ariel, 93. It's 16 inch wheels, it's crazy, isn't it? Now they're running 18s with you know, the biggest brakes you could possibly fit under. Um, so I'm going to be lowering the car, it's going to be borderline stance, but I do want to use it. I'm not going to be taking it on track. I'm not going to be driving it 100 miles an hour everywhere I go, but I want to look out my window, look at my car and think that looks nice. That looks right. I don't want it to look too extreme. I don't want it to sit too high like a rally car and have mud flaps on it. That's just not my style. There's nothing wrong with that. A lot of guys out there go for the full on rally look. Mr. Fandango is one of them who I sold my Oz Chronos to. And I do like that look, but it's just not me. I like the tarmac spec look. Um, I'm not going to drop it too much when it slams, scraping the floor. 
it's not good for geometry settings it's not good for cv joints it is not good for drive shafts having a body that low it puts excess pressure on those components um yeah so that's what i've gone for and we'll see what they look like when i get on them so here we are, here's the new wheels behind this piece of cardboard. Are you ready? Do you want to see them finally? Right, here we go. We have got, boom, the Rosa D154. Oof, what a lovely looking wheel. Not in the colour I want, I am going to paint the wheels. I know you're going to tell me they need powder coating. I'm going to paint the wheels. So we've got uh, an ET30 and we've got an eight and a half inch wide and that's on a 225. I just love the look of the wheels. I always have done. So this is what I've gone for. Boom, let's get them on. Right, so as you can see the, uh, the fitment is a little bit extreme on the back and it is catching on the arch. Uh, I am gonna roll the arches slightly, but um, that is a little bit extreme. But it does, if you can see in there, it does have, I think there's 25 mil spaces on the back. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna whip the wheel off, uh, we're going to whip the spaces off, we're going to take it down to my mate Tony at Jizz Motorsport and we're going to see if we can shave the spaces down a little bit to give us a bit more clearance because even though it looks boss, that's just undrivable. It's a wheel off and these are your hub centric spaces which bolts on here, 54.1 uh, I believe. Uh, these are the half nuts, we can only take so much off the spacer well, you could normally only take so much off the spacer because then the half nut would be exposed and it would catch on the wheel. But there are scallops on the back of the wheel, so that won't really matter. But we can, we can only take so much off the spacer because we don't want to weaken it at all. So we're going to whip it off and see if we can take 10 mil off it. Right, here we are at uh, Jizz Motorsport over in Leyland. Here's Tony. Tony's a bit camera shy, isn't he? So what we're going to be doing here is we're going to be turning down some of these spaces to... Um, Basically increase the offset. That's right, Tony, isn't it? Decrease. Decrease. Decrease the offset to move the wheel further in the arch just a little what bit. We're doing so. We're just checking that the, uh, the space is flat so that when we cut it, it ends up parallel. Always good. I just grind at me. <laughs> <laughs> it's been known as well, hasn't it? Yeah. Get grinder on it. So we're going to take a, what, two mil off two the back mil. because the studs do recess in there quite a bit. And then we'll measure it, and then we're going to take off what the front, what we need is, isn't it? Let's go. Right, so. Tony's found a bit of a problem, and the problem is, you tell us what the problem is, Toe. Uh, the outside diameter is not running concentric to the spigot diameter. I need to find a way of making it true. I'm showing why that is. Roll it, back. Uh, it looks like there's been damage there to the, the spacer. That stud was actually broken off, it's been hacked off. So I think someone's lost a lock and wheel nut key, and they've tried to heat that up. Heat it all up and it's through bar that spacer on it. Yeah. But but there is a there's always I'm sure there'll be a way. We're gonna pinto it, aren't we, Pinto? And uh, while we're here as well, what we're doing is we're gonna check these 16 inch Oz Coronas. Corona? Cronos Cronas. For Mr. Fandango. We're gonna make sure the straight's uh, straight, so we're gonna put them on the balance and have a look. So what we've got is before we put them on the car, we have got spigot rings. I ordered them in advance because I knew these were the wheels I was getting. Um, regarding the fact I was going to get a five spoke, I just couldn't get these wheels out of my head. Uh, reminds me of, obviously they're not the compromotives, they are copies of the rotors, but um, just reminds me of the old rally wheel, especially on the Escort Cosworth as well. And in tarmac trim, when they're big, they look ace. But something I have noticed is, which is a pain in the ass, 
these only just fit in there. And you can see someone's had a go at, you're not gonna fit a socket around there, even one of the slimline sockets. So all I wanted to do today was put the wheels on and I'm not gonna be able to because I've gotta buy some narrower bolts. New bolts have arrived. Oof. Slimmer. Fancy bit. Look at that. Check that out. Oof. So let's get them on, finally. So just about to get the wheels on the Celica, as we've just said, and we've got another spanner in the works. It's not a bad one, it's a pretty good one. Martin opposite and Christoph, the welder fabricators, who are going to be doing a small little bit of welding on my Celica. I've just contacted me and said there's availability to get the car in. So I'm not messing around as quickly as possible. Get the car in because I just want to get it done. I want to get it on the road as quickly as possible. And I've been waiting for a couple of months for them to do a bit of welding on it. So, and that's going to be a separate video as well. So I know it's a bit of a long winded one today, guys. Uh, and we didn't actually have an end result, but I've got my wheels. I collected them, they fit. Uh, we've got the spacer sorted. And next is going to be welding, and then there's going to be some kind of suspension video. It's all a bit exciting. We've got a few things going on at once. So take it easy, and I'll see you next time. See ya.